Okay. Um, if you want to meet beautiful women, if you are average looking, below average, even if you think you are unattractive like I am, but now I dress badly, I apologize, I always wear the sh same shitty clothes inside my house. Even if you are average looking, below average, or you are ugly, you think you are ugly, you've been told you were ugly, or unattractive, you can still succeed with women you like, women you feel attraction for. But not all women. You will be rejected. I believe you listening will be rejected. Now, on this channel, very few subscribers, please subscribe. On this channel, very few views. If you watch this two, three times, it's good for you. And share with your best friends, maybe. And leave a comment which city, which state you are from, please. I'm very curious. I'm Italian, I live in Italy, I've been traveling all over the world on board of cruise ships, I've approached women in more than 100 cities around the world, and this morning I was uh, uh, remembering a particular approach I did, I think was uh, 2017, in Melbourne, Australia, beautiful city. So I, would, I was with a cruise ship in Melbourne port, I got off the ship, my intention was to approach women and have a fun that day. I did it, I did several approach, pr approaches, uh, lots of rejections and some women responding positively. And then this approach, you can learn, listen to this, you can learn this, is based on my principles. Check out my, uh, my other videos on this channel. I apologize for my English is not good, is not uh, fluent. Um, and um, so this day, Melbourne city, Australia. I'm Italian from Italy. I was with a cruise ship in Melbourne city port. I got off the ship, I went, I went into the city, lots of people, lots of beautiful women everywhere. All the beautiful shops and everything. The stores, the malls, the restaurants, beautiful. I was in a good vibe, good energy. I had like two, three hours and I was walking around the downtown. And after several approaches, I warmed up and then at some point I walked outside a store. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was a video game store or DVD store, something like this. I think it was the video games or I don't know, some sort of electronic stuff also. I remember this kind of stuff. I walked outside the store. I did not pay, pay attention at the merchandise. What stopped me on my tracks? I was walking like this. Let's say here is at the entrance of the store in downtown. I walk and boom, I stopped. Why? Because I saw an amazing, gorgeous, beautiful woman. A sexy, attractive, amazing, gorgeously beautiful woman. The particularity, I, uh, this woman was particularly like voluptuous. How do you say? She had an amazing ass, great ass. She, her, her main characteristic was her ass was like bomb, like pff, was exaggerated, was a lot, was uh, and her big thick legs. Where I think was wearing jeans. I don't remember, was wearing pants, jeans, and a top, tight top, and had a curly, like very, very curly hair, like on the blonde brown. And beautiful face, very smiley. And I, and, and I, because I already warmed up several approaches, I entered the, the store following my plan, following my techniques, my skills, move towards the target, move at least around the woman that I'm attracted to, take action and just start move. That's one of my action, that's one of my principles, I start to move and I did it. And But because I was inside a store, I don't know if she would be looking at me in a weird way or maybe a manager would come out. So I had to use a little bit of social intelligence and assess before revealing what I want, revealing that I feel attraction. 
So I had to use the social intelligence. I need to be safe. I'm in that city with a cruise ship. I don't want to be arrested. I don't want anybody to get mad because troubles might happen. So you can easily get in trouble. But if you are safe and you behave good, once I establish, okay, safe, then I proceed to say, hey, my name is this, uh, like you, I, I feel attraction, whatever else. But here's what I did. I entered the store, she noticed me, so I pretend to look a little bit uh, there. And then I say, I, no, 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 nothing, nothing. I say, no. she goes, nothing? Yeah, no, no, I, I don't want, actually, I just came in for, no, I came in for, um, I was a little bit nervous, this is true. I let her see that I'm a little bit nervous. This is honesty, the truth, honesty. I let them see when I'm nervous a little bit, when I'm uh, like a um, short breath, uh, short breath, uh, uh, when I have a little bit anxiety, I let it see it. I'm not gonna pretend I'm not. And so I go, oh no, no nothing, because I just, I was just looking, um, actually no, I was, uh, I was looking at, I saw you, I was outside and I saw you, and I was looking at you, and I like, um, she goes, okay, what? But she was surprised and she was still smiling and looking at me. And I said, actually, uh, I like your looks. This is something that normally I say. So I said, actually, I like your looks. And probably she asked me where I'm from. I don't know if I told her, because usually I don't tell them. I say, Europe. Some woman might get, Ugh, Europe? What do you mean, Europe? You don't tell me your country? Or some woman will laugh, will, laugh, will smile or maybe dig deeper. Which kind? Um, some woman will accept that I say Europe. Um, because if, this woman, if a woman is going to reject me, why should I reveal them where am I from, how many days I stay there, how old I am, if I have friends. I'm not going to tell them anything if they are not going to spend time with me. Unless I do want to tell them anyway. Maybe I feel friendly, I feel to talk to somebody. Maybe I like this person and even if she's going to reject me, I'm going to tell everything about me, maybe. But most of the time, I don't. Because if I'm approaching a woman, I'm approaching her because I'm interested in her and I'm, going, I'm putting myself into this situation to reveal what I like, what I want, what I feel. And I'm, I'm not going to end up talking about my identity, my generalities. No, I'm not going to end up talking about that. I'm here uh, for my purpose. I'm not here just to have a, a friendly conversation. I might have to, I might want to have a friendly conversation with another woman, I don't know who, but this is what I am. Uh, so I don't know if she asked me where I'm from. I said, no, I like you, I uh, feel attraction for your body. I like, um, no, nothing. Probably I say something. But anyway, gradually I start to tell her, no, I like your body, I feel attraction for you. I, I like you, and then, uh, but I don't move, no? Uh, maybe I'm, uh, I move like towards the exit, the entrance of the exit, as to let her see that I'm not gonna be there like a dangerous guy or a psychopath or a, or a crazy person who wants to harass her. No, I'm not gonna, no, I just say, I throw it out there. And she was smiling and like. So I said several of these things, I'm gonna get to a point here. I say several, you know, I feel attraction, I like your body, I'm imagining uh, hugging you, probably I say something, something like that, I'm, Im I'm imagining hugging and kissing you, nothing, no, I don't want to actually have to go, I tell her the truth because I really had to go, I was going to go back to my cruise ship in the port of Melbourne, Australia, so I said something along the line, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I said those kind of things, for sure, 100%. I wasn't on talking about, oh, actually, I, I asked her where she was from, she was from uh, Turkey. I don't know if she lived, but she moved uh, recently, uh, anyway, she was from Turkey. Um, and I wasn't expecting like a Turkish woman to be that attractive, but anyway, 
So I wasn't talking about, oh, which restaurant do you like? Oh, do you like Melbourne? Do you like Sydney? No, 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 nothing of that bullshit. I don't talk about social friendly, typical conversational topics. I don't do that anymore. Especially in a city, I'm two hours in a fucking Australia, gorgeous, beautiful woman. I enter a store because I see a beautiful woman. You think I'm going to end up talking about ice cream or, or pets or cars or traveling or TV shows? I'm not going to talk about that shit. This is what the whole planet talks about with women. I go into the real truth, honest of what I feel in that moment. I feel... Hey, I love your legs. If that's what I'm seeing and I, what I feel here, here, I love her legs. Inside myself, I feel I like her legs. I'm going to talk about that. I try to as soon as possible. As soon as possible and as much as possible. If she wants to talk about uh, what's your job, I might not want to talk about that because I'm on my, how do you say, I'm on my plan. How many minutes? So my plan is to reveal what I feel and what I think. But guys, watch this several times. Um, put the speed up of the video so you, uh, you, you gain time. Um, so uh, if she wants to talk about my country and they, they do a good pizza, I don't give a fuck about that shit anymore. If they, she wants to talk about traveling Europe, I don't give a fuck. I am there. I took all this courage to put myself into action and approach beautiful women. This is a lot of work. It takes courage. I get close to a woman. I open my mouth to say something. I initiate a conversation for one purpose, to tell them the truth of what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling in the cleanest possible way in the most intelligent, ac acceptable way. I'm not there to talk about music. I'm not there to go talk about movies. Or, hey, you should go to the club. I saw a club the other night. That's all bullshit. That's what you do. That's what every man does. So since 2012, and in particular 2014, 15, and 16, I learned to only say what I'm thinking and feeling and what I like to talk about. I want to talk about only what I desire, what I would like to get. I only engage, for the most part, in most situations, only if she is on my same track. I don't want to go on another people's track or, the, or what other everybody else says I should talk about. I want her to be on my same page. If she's not, okay, I step back and I leave. But if I went out of my way and I put myself into that situation, took action, I create all that and I, so I want to keep on talking about the topics that I like to talk. If I want to talk about, I would, if I want to tell her, if I feel like at some point I want to hug her, I'm not going to jump and plunge, how do you say, plunge or lunge into her. I'm not going to do that anymore. I might have done that in the past. And that's what everybody else does. That's what you probably do. You take a chance. You go for it. You hit on women. You try to... Yeah, at some point we have to push. But not in most situations. No. You're going to get accused. You're going to get all kinds of bad reactions. Only if she wants, you can go for it. So, with a stranger, I'm going to say, hey, I'm, I am thinking to hug you. Um, I even show her that. So, when she sees this, and anyway, what she says after all this, she goes, wow, you are like a tiger. That's why I want to record this video. This woman told me I was like a tiger. Within two minutes, less than two minutes, Melbourne, Australia, I walk around downtown, I see this store with a gorgeous woman with an amazing ass like this. 
I entered, I initiate, and I told her right away within the first 10 seconds the truth that I liked her and I felt attraction for her. And within probably less than two minutes, she told me that I was like a tiger. At the first, I did not understand. She, she pronounced it tiger, tiger. Because I think she had an Australian accent. A tiger. I, I think she, saw, she said like a tiger. Because Australian pronounced this way, a tiger. So I said, what? I'm like, what? A few times. I did not understand. I couldn't get it. She goes, a tiger, tiger, animal, like, ah, you are like a tiger, I like it. She said, I love it, I like it, I don't remember. She, she, she was surprised, she loved it. And then, because I had to go, I really had like 20 minutes of an hour, I had to go back to my cruise ship. I said, I'm not going to be here, I'm going to leave the country, actually, and I wasn't going to go back anymore in that, in that city. But... If I stayed here, would you have met with me tonight for a date? She said, yeah. She said, yes. But that's not uh, what really surprised me or... That's not what, um, how impressive it was. That's not what impressed me about this approach. I'm, I impressed myself with this approach. And the fact that she would have gone on a date, she said, it's not guaranteed, but when she said that I was like a tiger because I was aggressive, like, no, I mean, I didn't do anything. She was like, I like it. She, you are like a tiger, not like most other men. Within two minutes, which man do you think would likely approach a woman in a street in, an, in the opposite part of the world where he's from, would go out alone, would approach several women, and then would meet a woman in a store and tell her the truth within 10 seconds, and would receive a compliment like, you are like a tiger, within two minutes. Tell me if this is very likely to happen. I don't think this is likely to happen. Now, I had approaches where I end up maybe kissing a woman, making out, grabbing her. We had like some sort of sexual interaction. And I had approaches where I had sex with women right then and there or right after. And yes, those were amazing. But this approach, it makes you think. If you want to learn how to be direct, straightforward, tell them the truth, but you have to accept rejections. You have to go through rejections. Otherwise, you will never see a woman who's going to be like, oh my God, you are so unique. You are like a tiger. You are like a lion. I don't know if she could tell you something like this. If you want to learn how to be straightforward, but in an acceptable way, clean, ethical manner. You need to have a morals and ethics. You have to respect women. You have to walk away when they don't want to talk to you. And if somebody shouts at you, yells at you, and tells you to go fuck off, fuck yourself, go away, you crazy, you walk away and say, okay, you walk away. You have to be safe. I want to be safe. I learned the lessons. I made all the mistakes in the world, around the world. If you want to learn, schedule a consultation, shoot me an email, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel. Of course, you have to pay because I paid money to learn this, but more than that, I invest my whole life learning this. And this is to be good. This is to be honest, to be real, authentic. I only teach you to be real and authentic. If you're not real, uh, you're full of shit. I cannot teach you. So if you want to be taught this, shoot me an email, subscribe to the channel, press like, leave a comment.